Jesus, for he is great and he's worthy to be praised. We are here to celebrate the homegoing service of our, our loved mother, Bernice Canteen, today for the many years that the Lord have allowed her to live and to be here among her children, her family members. We just give God the glory because God is good and good all the time. God is good. So at this time, we're going to have our open hymn. There's not a friend like a lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. We're going to ask someone with a silver tool that lead us to this, this familiar hymn. There is not a friend like a lowly Jesus. And after the hymn of praises, our invocation be coming from Reverend Jared Washington, the selection, Brother Randy Gamma, our scripture reading, the Old Testament, the Reverend Carletta Johnson, New Testament, our the Reverend Rose Singleton. And that all, if you will, I open him. There is not a friend like a lowly Jesus, no, not one. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. Oh no, not one. No, not one. None else could hear. 
in ages past our hope for years to come God you've been our shelter even from these stormy blasts and God you shall be our eternal home God it's one more time that we just pause right now God just to say thank you, thank you Lord. God we thank you for your grace we thank you God for your mercy but most of all God we thank you for just giving us life health and strength just to be here to celebrate the life of your dear servant mother canteen father in the name of jesus we pray god's blessings upon this worship service god we lift up the names of the children the grandchildren god the family god we ask that you would strengthen and cover them even right now in the name of jesus god even as we're praying and the rain is falling god we still have every reason just to say thank you god we thank you for goodness we thank you for mercy and now god we thank you for these services father god we pray over the preacher who shall shed the bread the break the break the bread of life god we pray god that you would give him strength so that he might have the words to share even with this family on this day god that you have made that we are rejoicing and god that we're being glad and now god we pray for every person who shall speak we pray god for the musician god we lift up this family for this is their season this is their time that they need prayer and god will be careful and conscious in all things to give you the glory the honor and the praise and the people of god said amen amen and amen again Right on time. Oh, yeah. 
He knows my name. You can notice the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He made me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restores my soul. Thank you, Jesus. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk, Jesus said, through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May the word be a comfort to the family and the hear of the word. May God bless you. Amen to the family. Amen. And I pray that family and friends will surround you with so much love that you will only remember the good times that you share with your lost one. John, the 14th chapter. John tell us, let not our heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And I will receive you unto myself. That where I am, ye may be also. John 14, verses 1, 2, 3. May God add a special blessing to the hearing of his word. Before we go any further, I'd do like to honor all of these preachers, amen, and come out and have confidence, confidence family today for being in our midst, for showing up. God has been good to all of us, and he's good now. But a prayer that's already been made, and the word of God that has been read, we just honor God just allowing us to be able to stand here today in his presence, the calm that we're going to celebrate today. We're going to give honor. We're going to give praises to God because God has done so many great things for us. And he's still doing it right now. The reflection at this time comes from Sheriff Addison. We ask her to come, if you will, acknowledgement as Danny Green. And after that, I will come with the word of confidence. Sheriff. First, giving honor to Christ, giving honor to everybody in their respectful place. I count it a privilege and an honor to be able to stand here and give the reflections on the behalf of my mother-in-law, Bernice Turner. 
catching. If anybody knew Bernice Turner Canteen, they know that she was a lady that loved to live. If I had four words to describe her, I would say that she loved to live, she loved to laugh. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And she was a person that loved and she learned. I came into this family about 30 years ago. When I first came into this family and I met her, she was a very quiet, observant person. I guess she had to seek me out to see if I was going to stay for a little while. And once she got comfortable with me, that's whenever I also came up with that. If we had to say anything about her, I would give her, and I would call her an anchor woman because she knew everything. She didn't have to leave out the house to find out what was going on, it always came to her. She was just like an anchor woman and she was the glue that held this family together. She was a good person. She was a church going woman. When I met her, she would be dressed sometimes and on the way out the door and she would say, well, stay until I come back or I'll be back later. She was about her father's business. Not only was she a church going woman, but she was a woman that loved the church and loved her pastor. But foremost, she loved her family. She loved her family. And she loved family gathering. She loved for the family to come together. Like I said, the four words that I would describe her as, she is a woman that lived, she lived her life. She's a woman that loved, she loved everybody. I don't think there's nobody here that can say that she did not love them. And if she did, no, I don't know. You, you can't say it. Not according to her and not according to her personality and her demeanor. She always, always just loved to laugh. Now, she was kind of nosy, but she was, she was nosy, but she wasn't messy. Sometimes you got some nosy people that are messy, but she wasn't messy. And like I said, if I had to call her the anchor, I'm gonna call her the anchor woman. And her station was called WBTC. W. Bernice Turner Canteen because she didn't have to go for the news. The news was brought to her. And I tell you, she would look around when she thought she had the news of all of the surrounding areas for somebody who couldn't drive or for somebody who didn't leave out the house. She knew everybody's business. And she would always look around and make sure of her surroundings. But she ain't going to talk that talk in front of everybody. She had to make sure that she knew who was there and what she was saying. On last year, I had the privilege of going to a birthday party for her. And we hadn't seen each other in a little while. And when I saw her, she was like, Amanda started telling her the people who was there. And I remember when Amanda said, and Cheryl is saying, she was like, where, 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 where? And me and her started talking and I had to tell, okay, Miss Bernice, I'll be back, I'll be back. I know that she loved me as well as I know that she loved all of y'all, but I know that my mother-in-law loved me. And at that birthday gathering, honey, girlfriend was dressed, and she said, guess what? My boy got me dressed. Honey, oh. my son had her dressed like she was in New Orleans. <laughs> she had her beads and her hat, and you could feel the spirit off of her. You could just feel the spirit of love and from everybody. So I say to everybody, you know what we need to do? Still remember her, still honor her. On her birthday, we need to come together and we need to do what she would want us to do. And that is live, that is love, and that most of all, and that is laugh, and that is learn. And where I say that she's a woman of learn, because you know what? She learned how to trust in Jesus. Because no matter what state she was in, no matter what she came up against, no matter what she had to face, her trust and her faith was in Jesus. She was in a wheelchair, but she didn't let that hinder her. She lost her sight. She still didn't let that hinder her. She still was about her father's business. And she was about the business of the love of her family. They were telling me that she told them that I was coming to ride her. But guess what? I didn't get a chance to ride her. But thank you, Jesus, on May, the tw on, excuse me, on October the 23rd in the afternoon on Carlana Drive. Thank you, Jesus. God came down. He sent an angel down. And he told her, you know what, Miss Bernie? I'm getting ready to give you this final ride. And I think whenever that angel came down and told her, 
that he was coming, I think she just said, swing down old chariot and let me ride. She wants y'all all to stay together. She wants y'all all to love one another like y'all are continu continuously doing. And as I said, she loved her children. And I'm going to give it up to the daughters because you got a lot of people to be sick. And a lot of times people put them in a the nursing home. Y'all didn't do that for y'all mama. Y'all kept her right there. Y'all even had a system. Y'all had a clock system where different ones would come in and different ones would keep her. So I say also to y'all, although she is not here, although she's closing out on WBT, WBTC, she will always remain in our hearts. She'll always remain in our minds. She'll always remain in our thoughts. And she will be forever loved by each one of us. I sent her uh, pie. I used to send her stuff to And I was asking them the other night. I said, did Miss Bernice ever get the pie? I, and I sent it by her son, Calvin, who she affectionately called Willie. And they was like, Mom, ain't getting no pie. But I remember Calvin calling me. He said, well, bunny out of luck. <laughs> I'm about to eat this pie up. And I said, family, let's stay together. Let's love one another. Let's, most of all, let's laugh like how she was. She was just laughing. She loved to laugh. It was not a sad day for her. She's rejoicing. And I bless God. I know my time is up, but I got to say this. I bless God that on two weeks, probably prior to her death, when Amanda, when y'all sent for me to come, I went in and I took Pastor Carletta with me. When I took Pastor Carletta with me, she anointed her from her head, the crown of her head, to the sole of her feet. And when she anointed her, let me tell you something. That lady, the Spirit of God just came all in the room. She started blessing the Lord. She started praising the Lord. So the Lord, he was still within her. See, sometimes you go to people's house and you got to visit them and you got to introduce them to Christ. We didn't have to introduce her to Christ. We just had to go and do what thus said the Lord. And we did what the Lord said on that day for her. And I believe she enjoyed it because after that, they said she started eating and she started picking up. But you know what? Just hold on. Hold on to the memories. Hold on to the love. And as I said, four words for her. Learn to live. Learn to love. Learn to laugh. And most of all, learn in this life and in this season to trust in Jesus. Amen. We done had the eulogy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am Joshua Johnson. I'm Willie's son. If you look at me, you can tell I'm Willie's son. Go cousin. That's good. <laughs> Um, Cousin Janie is not here, but thank God she's not because we forgot the cards. Um, but on behalf of the family, on behalf of all the children, on behalf of all the grandchildren, on behalf of all the great-grandchildren, we had a whole pile of kids. Um, we want to thank everybody who has come out to celebrate her life with us on today. Um, my dad is noticeably absent. He, Our family has been going through a lot, and he is in Charleston right now. He is battling an aggressive um, lymphoma, which is cancer, and so we left him up there today, and I'll be back there with him tomorrow, but he sends his thoughts as well, but we're going to be all right. All we got to do is stick together, keep these little things that she liked going up. I came over there the other week, and she couldn't talk. That was the week before she passed, and I said, Grandma, it's right here, and she smiled because she knew I was coming over there with the food, and she <laughs> loved, loved to hear me cut the food, and so I will miss that so much, but to the ministers and everybody who came out to share with us on today, my home church pastor, Reverend Washington, Reverend Singleton, Reverend Rogers, Elder Johnson, Brother Gamble, to all of you, thank you for coming and sharing with us on today, and I forgot to put the selection before the words of comfort on the obituary, so Brother Gamble, take a step, and then we're going to hear the words of comfort. We celebrate today. Bless you all. If you lean on me, 
same time because he's God and he's God all by himself it was so nice to hear so many great things concerning this great mother and I could be a witness it is true she sure enough and a woman of the, of the cloth a woman that loved God a woman that respect and honor people for who they really are so we are grateful we honor the children, amen, and how they have taken the time out and take care of their mother in such a special way. For God is good. All the time, the Lord is good. Yes, I've been down to a funeral home the other day, Brother Eddie McCullough, and there was a scripture that was read there by the Reverend, uh, Reverend Grant. And that scripture was 130 Psalm, 130 Psalm. And when he read that scripture, that scripture caught my attention very much. And I began to study that word not knowing what I'm gonna have to do. And I had no idea that I'll be here doing this today. But because God is good and he always prepare you amen for things to come brother alan neesman is the one that read it out of the book of psalm and he read out of the depth have i cried unto thee 
O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thy ear be attended to the voice of my supplication. If thou, Lord, should mark iniquity, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou may fare. Verse 5, but I wait for the Lord. My soul wait, and in his word do I hope. Today I would like to talk a little while. I wait for the Lord. Amen. I wait for the Lord. Mother Bernice wait for the Lord. She knew that the Lord worked for her. She knew that whatever she stands in need of, God always supply her need according to his riches in glory. Yes, God. Evidence that she waited because she had patience even in her hard time suffering, not able to do for herself, but yet with patience, she understand that one day, if I wait patiently upon the Lord, he will hear my cry. Isaiah 64 and 4 tell us that, amen. For since the beginning of the world, Men have not heard, nor perceived yes. by the ear, neither have eyes seen, yes, O oh God, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waits upon him. Yes, if you wait patiently, as your mother did, God will continue to work for you. And how I know that the Lord been working in her life because one Sunday she asked the Lord to save her. And the Lord saved Mother Kenty and brought her in to the faith. I'm here to tell you when the word of God is being ministered, amen, she heard the word and she, or the word, she acted upon the word and she began to live out the word because she loved God. And because she loved God so much that God continued to work in her life to will and to do of his good pleasure. God is good. Yes, he he said, for I wait, I wait for the Lord. Right. Other words, my soul waited on the Lord. I knew where my help come from. I understand that all things work together for the good to those that love God, to those that was called according to his purpose. Right. She understand these things. She understand it and she knew it for herself that God was at work in her life because it was God that was abiding in her and she was abiding in the Lord and whatsoever she was asking, in his name. It might then come when she wanted right away, but she knew that it would soon come to pass. Right. I believe Isaiah said in the 40th chapter, book of Isaiah said that they that wait upon the Lord, the Lord shall renew their strength. That your mind of ways of an eager that you run, not be weary, that you walk and not faint. Other words, wait on the Lord. Wait on him like your mother did. She wait on the Lord even in her time of need, her time of suffering, time of going through changes. She was waiting because she knew that the Lord was working on her behalf. Yes, we got to understand the day that God don't need us, but we need the Lord. It is God that work on our, in our behalf, giving us what we need, when we need it, and every time we need it. So yeah. God work for those who, who wait on him. Uh, uh, wait on him means God work for those that trust him. She trusts God. She had faith in God. She believed that God would do just 
what he said he would do. Of the word, when God left the disciples and he went away, he said, I'm coming back again to receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. For in my father's house, there are many rooms, there are many mansions, and if it were not so, I would not have told you, but I'm going to prepare a place for you. She waited on the Lord because she knew that the word of God said, I'm coming back. And when I come back, I'm coming to receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Right. Ain't God good? Uh, God is a good God, and God is good all the time. Yes, and it's a good thing to understand when God is working in someone's life, it might don't seem, amen, like things is working out. It might look at your mama like she's been going through some hard times. Maybe she was, but I'm here to tell you, it was something about her that kept her living, kept her striving, kept her loving, kept her caring and concerned about her children. God is good. The Bible says you know the tree of the word by the fruit of bed. Now, look at the family. The, hey, my mother bear some good fruit because her seed did not take her and throw her aside, but her seed took her in of the word and they minister her what it were saying they serve her they did what necessary in order to keep her going forward i love the lord today uh, yes. because if you wait on uh, god will take care of you uh, if you wait on the lord god will take care of you uh, and i believe because a mother waiting on the lord and the word was in her she can go back to the prophet to the servant david David said, wait on the Lord uh, and be of a good courage, and the Lord shall strengthen your heart, but you got to wait on him. Yes. you got to wait until you yes. change and come. Job say, even though you slay me, but yet I'm going to wait on you. Uh, yes. I'm going to wait until my change because, because I know one day, uh, amen, that the same God uh, that raised me to the life of Jesus, Jesus Christ, he's able to raise me, in other words, from the dead. Uh, God is a good God, and the Bible talk about the goodness of God and, and how, how good God is and the same good thing that God is doing in our life today. Uh, God is doing great things in our life. God has brought this mother for 87 years going through trials and tribulation, but great God Almighty, God never leave her son. Uh, he was always there with her all through her life. He was there working for this mother. And because he worked for her, uh, he knew her. Uh, he knew who she was. He knew her name. He knew what she stand for. And, and he knew that he, she was one of his children. Uh, and the Bible say he would never leave none of his own. Neither will he forsake him. Uh, I believe that during the time when mother was gone through the changes because of this fresh scripture that was read, at that funeral, that scripture caught my attention so deeply. And I know that mother would love for you to keep this in your heart. Carry this word home with you. And remember as she would say, I cried unto the Lord. Uh, and the Lord, he heard me. Uh, in other words, he heard me, my supplication. Uh, if thou was my, my iniquity. Uh, or the word of God would look at me. Uh, for who I am, uh, God, my sin will not stand. Uh, but God looked beyond my faults, uh, and God saw our every need. Uh, God worked for us. Uh, it wasn't by works uh, that man saved himself, uh, but the grace of God, uh, the love of God, uh, amen, the favor of God uh, reached way down, uh, and he picked mother up. Uh, place her feet on a rock uh, that you're able to stand firm uh, and to know because Jesus lived uh, I can face another day uh, I waited uh, on the Lord uh, I waited on the Lord because I understand uh, that there is forgiveness uh, with thee uh, for thou have heard uh, my faith uh, my cry, uh, I waited on the Lord. Uh, my soul waited on Him uh, because I know one day, uh, one day soon, uh, that Jesus came. Uh, I'm coming back uh, and I'm looking for a church uh, without spots uh, and without a rancor. Uh, I understand 
huh, that she may well able huh, to get up and walk around. Huh, her eyes tight. Huh, Mine was a little dim. Huh, but I'm here to tell you, huh, that was a word huh, in the inside huh, that the darkness, huh, that sickness huh, could not destroy. Huh, I believe huh, that mother was safe. Uh, in the inside uh, with a sanctified soul. Uh, say, I will bless the Lord uh, at all times. Uh, and his praises uh, shall continue uh, to be my mouth. Uh, my soul uh, shall make a boast in the Lord. Uh, the hermit shall hear uh, thereof uh, and be glad. Uh, what you saying uh, unto you today? Uh, oh, let us uh, magnify the Lord to guilt. Uh, this poor man cried uh, and he heard her uh, it's going good uh, mother cried uh, the Lord heard her uh, and the Lord uh, God Almighty uh, he delivered her uh, from all her fame uh, I say to you today uh, if you don't know uh, taste him uh, and see uh, for yourself uh, that the Lord is good uh, and he's good uh, all the time uh, what I'm saying uh, to your children, uh, you might be uh, had to leave out the room uh, when nobody uh, you thought uh, was in the room with her. Uh, but the Lord said, uh, I got angels uh, camp around her base. Uh, no harm, uh, no danger uh, can come up against her. Uh, the Lord is good uh, and he's good all the time. Uh, I believe uh, Mother Canteen uh, was saying to you today, uh, I fought, uh, I fought a good fight. Uh, I finished uh, my coat. Uh, there is uh, a crown uh, of righteousness uh, that is waiting for me. Uh, and not to be only, uh, but to you uh, and to you, uh, to all of us uh, that love his apparel. Uh, he goes good. Uh, he's good. Uh, and he's good all the time. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you uh, for knowing. Uh, Mother can't teach uh, for so many years. Uh, it's good uh, to know her. Uh, that somebody uh, in the world uh, know Jesus. Uh, any good? Uh, thank the Lord. Uh, what I'm saying uh, if this mother uh, wasn't in Christ, uh, God would have never uh, gave this scripture uh, a word uh, to leave with the family. Uh, let the family know uh, I'll cry. Uh, and the Lord. Uh, he heard me and he delivered me my God Amen. he cried the Lord delivered her yes, out of her infirmity he gave her a solid place to stand now glory to God Almighty I believe she would say better today sisters children it's better for me to be absent from this body. But let me be present with the Almighty God. Mother Canteen, you got some strong children. You got some fighters that you left back here. And they're fighting. Minister Kevin, a fighter. And he was fighting for a long time. But he never gave up, and he never give in. He's a fighter. You raise a fighter. When the cancer thought he had him, but he keep getting up. He keep moving. And I'm here to tell you, young man, he keep preaching the holy word of God. He stand, even when it didn't feel good. Never stop. He was strong in the power of God. You raised strong children, mother. You left them here so they can stand. Keep standing. You got a daughter that was sick, been in and out of the hospital, in and out. But look at her now, still sitting in the midst. Why? Because she's strong enough in her faith to believe if God said he can do it if God bring her to it 
God can pass through it. Paul is good. Stand on the way. Stand on it. Remember that song. Psalm 130. She cried. And she the Lord. The Lord heard her. She waited. And the Lord came. And rescued her. From her infirmity. We bless the Lord. We thank God. For his holy word. Hallelujah. My brother.
shall fall in the den. That's a fucking friend. I'll be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us out of evil. Let us look to God for the benediction. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, may it rest, rule, and abide with each of you, henceforth, now, and forevermore. And the people of God said, Amen, 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 Amen. 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 I love you, Pastor Frank. Go ahead and play, Randy. Play softly. Oh, yeah. I'd like to take an opportunity to thank all our ministers. I won't we'll call names, but all of them so do a magnificent job in communities, uh, service families. Thank God so much for them. Pray God bless them upon them. To this Randy, a magnificent job. I'm going to put him on the road with me. To all of you, friends who came to the Solis family, family members themselves, Give God thanks so much for you. And as always, remember that the care team raise all of you. She raised all of you. She won. I knew you were going to miss her. She's going to live on in each one of you all. She's going to live on in each one of you all. Thank God for her life and her memory that she leaves with you. On behalf of myself, my staff, I'd like to thank you so much for trusting the care team. We try our best to have these services. We know we're going through this difficult and trying time. We know not what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds tomorrow. That's right. We're going to continue to try the best we can to make this services what it should be and what God would have it to be. And we thank you so much for all you've done. May God be taking blessings with you. Randy, if you can some soul that the family turned in their cars, thank you so kindly and thank you for all you've done. May God bless you. May God bless you all. Thank you so much. God has always stood by my side. He has always been my Whatever I need, I just pray. I know the Lord, He will make a way. He's done right by my side. Right by